Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew Santalski. I'm giving you an early prediction video. This fight will take place February 26, 2022 at the Darius vs. Makachev card. Man, I'm, I'm looking forward to all the UFC events, but man, uh, this is a great this is a great card. I'm really excited for this card, but I'm, I'm breaking down one particular matchup on this card that I find very interesting. Jarzinho Rosenstreak against Marcin Tibera, two heavyweights. Um, let's pull up the UFC rankings here. Let's get an official rankings update on these guys. Because um, I think they're both top 15. I know Rosenstreak is for sure. Yeah, Rosenstreak is six. Tibera is nine. So six versus nine. And uh, we're getting minus 125 odds on Rosenstreak and uh, minus 105 on Tibura. And uh, I was really surprised when these odds opened. I really felt like Rosenstreak was going to be a lot bigger of a favorite here, man, against Tibura. Yes, Tibura has impressed. He's beat some heavy hitters. Um, he beat Walt Harris, I want to say, in his last win, which was um, in June. Um, beat Greg Hardy it was another you know another guy would have you hitter. we know he's got the mini cardio beat, Ren Roth, beat Ben Rothwell in a fight that I kind of expected Rothwell to win back then beat Maxime Grishin I was I actually had a bet on Tiberio in that fight because um, Grishin normally fights at light heavyweight and uh, he took the fight on short notice too because I think Tiberio's opponent pulled out yeah Tiberio's original opponent was Romanov because I remember it was like a pick em fight and I took Tibera and Tibera still looked like shit. He started looking a lot better in these in his in his uh, three wins after Grishin. His cardio improved and whatnot, but he looked really sketchy in that fucking went over um Grishin when I had a bet on him. But it cashed. I'm not gonna the shit on that. But Charzinho Rosenstreak, man, I really I really think highly of Rosenstreak. And I know a lot of guys don't. But Charzinho Rosenstreak, man, he's fought all the top guys. At fucking heavyweight, man. I'd like to see him face face Derek Lewis and Stipe still, but this guy's lost to Naganu. He he was calling to fight Naganu. Naganu put him out in a heck of a fight, but dude, that fight went longer than twenty seconds. I mean, it could have easily been Rosenstreet knocking Naganu out. You know, he beat Overeem in a last second win, in a fight that I had money on him. Beat Arlovsky, Crowder, Albini. Handled all of his opposition, man. He fought Junior Dos Santos, put Dos Santos out, lost the gun in a fight that I had him in the main event um, last February, man. Um, beat Sakai, man. He just tore Sakai up, lost to Curtis Blades. But, dude, Curtis Blades, yeah, he, Curtis Blades landed those takedowns on him. But, dude, you know, if this fight stays standing for any period of time, Rosen Streak is putting you out, man, especially a chinny dude like Blades. And I just think, man, that. What I, what I can respect about Rosenstreet here, man, is that the guy is not afraid to fight anybody, man. He's fought all the top guys already, in my opinion, man. And, and yeah, so what? He's a loss, but dude, he doesn't have that fear, man. This guy will strike and bang with any of them. And I just see these guys are both kind of shorter dudes, him and Tibera. You know, he, he, Tibera doesn't have the type of takedowns that, that um, Blades has, in my opinion. And I just see, I see Jarzino just clipping this dude, man, putting him out. Minus 125 odds. I just, I mean, I just, I see whatever Jarzinho lands at Tibera kind of taking a toll, man. I don't see Tibera landing these huge double leg takedowns like Blades does and stuff like that. I just really think there's a lot of value here on, on Rosenstreak, man. This guy always bounces back. They put him against tough opposition. He loses. But Rosenstreak's here to stay, man. And both these guys, like I said, heavyweights desperate for contenders. Both these guys will always be top 15, top 10. Especially Rosenstreak, man. I mean, he's like he's like the gateway to the top five, man. And I just see the guy improving, man. If he really takes his training seriously he, and, uh, you know, keeps shoring up that takedown defense, and this guy can really be up there, man, you know. But uh, I, I see him clipping Tiberia here and putting him out. So I like Rosenstreak here. Really surprised by the minus 125 odds. Don't know if I'll have a bet on it, but, man, I'm just letting you know. I just find that really appealing. Minus 125 odds, and I like Rosenstreak here. That's an early prediction for me for February 26, 2022 on the Darius first Makachev card.